Good morning. Welcome to OMG WTF BBQ Action News. I'm here live with Bartholomew and Lindsay, and they're ready for your brunch time report. Guys? That hurts my very sensitive dog ears. Okay, we're here to tell you a little bit about UAB today and the services it has to offer. The first thing we're going to talk about is the greatest campus recreation center in the world. Let's go to Lindsay Parker with that. Indeed, Bartholomew. It is one of the best rec centers in the world. It was broken ground um, in 2002, but opened in 2006. It is a 150,000 thousand people square foot rec center housing racquetball courts, basketball courts, an indoor swimming pool with a lazy river of Bartholomew. Have you hit that up yet? No, but I did eat some bacon this morning. Oh, did you? <laughs> probably need to stop by. That compliments well. I agree. There's also a lot of room for ping pong. True. True ping that pong. is. Right. And a lot of weightlifting. And for you ladies out there, there's a special way that you can do it privately. There's a little area in front of the racquetball courts where you can uh, work out, not surrounded by a bunch of beefy men. That's true, that's true. Like I, Bartholomew. I tried to get in, they wouldn't let me. So, oh, really? <laughs> yeah, you can't get in. It's it's very exclusive. Very mm. exclusive. That's, how, that's how great this is. Actually, wait a minute. Uh, did you hear about the two schools that were ranked higher than us in Campus Rec? What about them? Uh, well, they have man-made beaches, but apparently there were two man-made hurricanes that just destroyed those campus rec centers. So what does that mean for us, Bartholomew? We are now the greatest campus recreation center. Woo! Oh, Bartholomew, we are number one. I say we need to go to the field right now and report on this. Do our field report. Thank you, Bartholomew. Um, here at the UAB Campus Rec Center, it is a very big place, a lot of stuff to do, but it's also a very exclusive club. You have to have one of these to get in. Outdoor Pursuits, and uh, could you just tell us a little bit about Outdoor Pursuits and what all sure. you do? Outdoor Pursuits is an opportunity for students to get out and enjoy the outdoor environment. We go skiing, mountain biking, horseback riding, uh, canoeing, kayaking, all kinds of different activities. It's a chance for students to have a balance in their school education performance. By getting outside, kind of clear in your mind, you have a fresher sense of what's going on and you can come back to school with renewed, uh, kind of renewed ability to look at what's going on. We had a student recently on a trip, she had an exam on Monday morning and she hadn't studied. She crammed in the van on the way home from our trip. She made the best grade in her class. She said, it's because I had that fresh, open, clear mind that I was able to put so much information in. So. We believe that if you have balance, if you're outside doing fun stuff, that by you coming back to the university, you're ready and refreshed for new stuff. And thank you, Buddy Love, for that interesting report from the rec center. That was absolutely breathtaking. It was beautiful. It really was. But now we're going to have to go to Captain Falcon with our brunch time traffic report. To you, Captain. Good morning. This is Captain Falcon here with your brunch time traffic report. And right now the traffic is... Well, there is any. So, back to you at the desk. Thank you for that traffic report, that Captain was, Falcon. That was really nice, Captain Falcon. Thank you for that. But, you know, it brings up an interesting question. Oh, really? Me. What is the average circumference of a broom handle? I don't know, Bartholomew, but I know where we can get a place to find out. Really? The information desk can in we, the HEC. Can we go right now? Let's go. Let's do it. I'd like to know what kind of information I could obtain in this case. Um, well, I can look up numbers for you. I can show you around campus. I can give you a map. Um, basically anything, I guess. Mm -hmm. Well, um, would you happen to know, say, the circumference of the group? Um, I'm going to go with pi divided by 287,000. All this thinking and news broadcasting is making me hungry. I'm starving, Bartholomew. Can we please go to Chick-fil-A? Oh, God. <sighs> Let's take it to Chick-fil-A. Right now. Oh, no. Where did you all get your Chick-fil-A from? Really? What? And what else did they sell there? Um, Taco Bell, and they also had the grill. Oh, and for others who want to know, um, where else can you eat on campus? 
can go to the comments on the brain over here. That was really good. I think you got uh, a little. Oh, yep. Yeah. Oh, oh, we're good now. It's gone. We're good. Okay. So, uh, can we wrap this up? Was that not perfect? Was that not the greatest canvas you've I ever seen? I learned a lot. I, I learned, learned a lot. lot. Plus, the average circumference of a room handle. Did not know that. Did not it was, it was that beautiful. Handle. That was a good answer. That so, we, we covered the rec center. Rec center was one. Uh, we're so now we, number one, grace in the world for that. Yes, we, we, um, we ate a delicious meal. It's probably beautiful. the greatest meal in the world. We're going we're gonna to go ahead and say. And we learned more information about the wonderful campus about UAB. Probably the greatest desk of info you'll ever find. I believe so. Um, so. So what better else to let end it? I guess we could just close this by saying, you stay classy, UAP. We'll see you next time.